Good afternoon, UBTubers. So, the grandkid has gone home, and I have been playing with the beautiful die. Isn't that cool? Good old, my favorite things. But I gotta tell you, it's been an interesting, wow, there's nothing better than having an eight-year-old in your craft room. But I have watched, um, Toy Stories 1 and 2, like six times this weekend. I'm done. And we've drawn Bo, and we've drawn, um, we saw Toy Story 4. So, of course, then I had to go see, we had to watch Toy Story 1, 2, and 3 a number of times, because those are the ones we own, because we went and saw the other one. So, um, yeah. So, I have been making these. So, the cool thing about paper inlay. And this is what I've been doing is I've been making um, lots of these dies. And what did I do? I put the die away. Hold on. Um, so this is the die itself. Uh, there it is. So the cool thing is that it cuts out the letter it cuts out the line, um, and then it cuts out the whole thing. So I started by trying to emboss this, and I'm having a really hard time embossing it. I can't get the sandwich right. So then I thought, oh, hey, what could you do? So as you can see, you can emboss. I cut it from three different colors of paper. So that means you can cut, you can make the letters one color and the lines another color, and um, on the background, a third color. So I'm going to show you, this makes quick and easy cards. All you need is three different colors. And um, I had some trouble getting the yellow, which color was it? The red background. I don't remember now which one it was. But anyway, I had some trouble. So we're, oh, I know. The first one I made, I did wrong. So... One of the first things that I recommend is I recommend when you run it through your die cut machine, when you put it in your sandwich, the first thing you do, uh, it comes out of the sandwich and here you have it. It's going to be in here. This is going to be in here like this. Um, well, what it's actually, I'm, I have a, I have a, um, this is a big shot. So it's going to be like this. And this is what I'm going to suggest you do is that you take it like this. You turn the whole thing over, pressing carefully. You pick up whatever sandwich it is. You get yourself a thing of glad press and seal. Thank you very much. Um, Jennifer McGuire's husband. And you press down on the whole thing like that. Okay, make it flat. That's what I suggest the first thing is that you do. Because that way you're going to get all the pieces in the way that they're supposed to be. Um, this works the best. Okay, what I actually did this time around, so I, I had three of them. I had three of them. By the way, I should also show you, if you haven't seen that video, this is part of the other half of my uh, self-healing mat and I use these as the bottom of my cutting plate now and this is amazing. This thing works miraculously well and it means that you never ever have to, um, I have to flatten out this top one again, but you never ever have to um, use your do that thing where you have to flip your cutting plates around and around and around and you destroy a cutting plate. Your cutting plate lasts forever. It's really wonderful. And this stuff, one of these, you can get like 16. Um, I lied. Sorry about that. I think you can get 12, 10 or 12 of these mats. It's five and a half by six inches. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, it's five and a half by eight. Um, and it it, they last forever. They last forever. I mean, I think one of them lasts me like six months, um, which is really cool. So this is what I have left. 
Oh, uh, this is gold cardstock because I screwed up that kind. So what I like to do first, this is going to sound really funny. Um, this is what I'm going to suggest, especially with this die. Katie's in the background singing. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's decided that she, since I'm talking, she's going to talk on the video too, because um, that's what she does. She loves to be in my craft room too. Um, Katie, for those of you who don't know, is my buddy. We almost got her a friend, but anyway. So what I'm probably going to do is trim a little bit of that off. This starts as four and a quarter by five and a half, but I'm probably going to cut it down a little bit. Yes, I know. It's a little... So here's an interesting thing. I am not going to glue this down yet. And the reason I'm not going to glue it down yet is because it's easier to glue it down once things are in place. So this is one of my techniques. Um, this is one of the things that I like to do. So what I like to do is I like to glue. I discovered this by accident that it's easier to glue the outline down after you have things because for some reason like for instance this likes to stretch a little bit so you like to get it sort of centered where you think you kind of want it to be and then start gluing these suckers down they fit right in here see they fit right in here So what I like to do is I like to get the letters glued down in the holes at the opposite sides. Because that way it sort of holds it in place. And um while I'm doing this. This is like the coolest way of coloring. And I do have to tell you that, and see if you can see, I've got all the pieces over here stuck to a different place, piece of press and seal. So I'm not gluing down the um, outline yet, but I'm using the outline as a way to um, press and seal all my letters and things and make sure they're in the right place. Another way to do this, if you're feeling particularly like er, uh, fuzzy, is you can always put them into place with a pair of tweezers. That works. I actually have two sets of colors here. There it is. Hello, Squeaky. Have you ever noticed that, like, I think we do mothers a disservice because, like, we name our pets and our kids things and then we call them something else. So, Katie's name is Katie. So glad we named her that. And so what do we call her? Squeaky. Um, why? Because she's squeaky. You know? So, so this is, you can see that now that I've put the F in there, it's much straighter. So that is one of the reasons why I don't glue the outline down right away, because it just, yeah, 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 because now it's straight and before it wasn't. So you can also do it like this. You can pull it down a little bit, gets it in there. So, yeah. And see, on, oh, yeah, that would be Mags. Maggie is our princess. She's like, no, you don't understand. So, this is the way you're gonna, um, hold on, Maggie. 
you're going to glue down the outsides. What you're going to glue do is you're going to put some glue around the outsides and then stick it in there. I, I know, Maggie, I hear you. Maggie is um, a feist. She is our terrorist. Terrorist. Ha 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 ha. Get it? So feist is a southern Appalachian breed. Owned by our presidents. Owned by southern Appalachians for hunting varmint. When she was younger, she could run straight up a tree. Most amazing thing I've ever seen in a dog. <laughs> Which is really something. Really something. Yeah. So, yeah. This is just kind of fun. So, I hope your 4th of July weekend went well. Ours did not. Because the princess that you just heard is seriously afraid of fireworks. So, uh, we did not sleep well and have not been sleeping well. Honestly, I'm trying to use up the art glitter glue. It's, um, I like the dispenser. The glue itself is glue. Lasts a heck of a long time. I do have to tell you that. It does last a really, really long time. Probably one of the longer lasting glues I've ever had. Um... Honestly, I think it's probably about the same consistency as Elmer's glue all. Um, the difference is the container it comes in. Um, so what I would suggest is I would really suggest getting yourself the, um, like buying yourself a bottle like this. This is the four ounce bottle. It comes with one of these tops for like 15 bucks. Um, or... Yeah, which you're gonna need the top because the and, and the bottle because these this part fits on top of this part, and then um, it all sort of comes together. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. I should have put it on the piece because this the red part isn't glued down. There it is. But as you can see, I wanted to do one of them real time because I, I wanted you to see how like this does not take very long. And I, I got to tell you, it works fine in any kind of way. The other way that I've done these is I've glued the outside. Um, the outline down with um, spray adhesive, which I can't do right now because the bird is in here. Birds and spray adhesive do not go well together. Um, birds don't do well with fumes. So we will not be doing that today. I know, we won't, will we, sweetie? Um, so no fume adhesives for the bird. Um, they also, uh, interesting things about owning a bird that most people don't know, you can't use Teflon cookware because Teflon gives off when you're cooking with it, which makes you kind of think twice about it when you're using it for humans. But Teflon gives off fumes that are deadly to birds when you're cooking with it, or at least exotic birds. I don't know if it's deadly to regular birds but if you think about that why would you want to cook with something that's deadly to something else um anyway that just makes me feel kind of iffy about that it's like eh, this could kill one of my pets why am i cooking with this um so we use 
stainless steel fry, um, frying pans and saucepans. We don't cook with regular, you know, your basic Teflon cookware. Which is kind of interesting, but true. So the last time you saw me, I was making thank you cards. Now I'm making encouragement cards for a whole bunch of women in one of my groups. Hence all these cards. But as you can see, I mean, literally, I don't know how long it's been, but it hasn't been all that long. Um, the hardest part is getting the tea thing out. But this is one of the reasons why you do this. Why you get a big die like this is you have all kinds of ideas for it. You could also still jazz this up, major league big time. I mean, I'm I'm going to use these cards simple, but you could put stars all over it. You could put flowers on it. I mean, you could put this on a piece of white paper. And then put flowers all over it. I want to show you what happens after you get all of these down. Um, don't you like the wobbly wobbly? It's so much fun. Proving Everybody can craft, whether you have a wobble or not. So after all of that carefulness, I seem to have lost a piece of yellow paper. I hate it when that happens. doesn't go there. That goes there. Okay, these two, I have to tell you, go here. And they are the teeny tiniest piece of stuff I've ever seen. And I have yet to decide if they're yellow. Like if they go with the U or they go with the F. They might go with the U. They might go with the F. I don't know. But you get to decide. And, uh. People in my house are watching Blue Planet and they're, the whales are busy hunting something. I don't know. I can't hear it. So, then you've got this. Now all your pieces are glued down. You're going to take this part off. Come on. Oop. Looks like parts of it are glued down anyway. Let's see if it's all glued down. Nope. We peel slowly, we peel carefully, we peel slowly. Come on, I know you're not glued down. I didn't glue you down. There we go. When in doubt, peel slowly with a pair of tweezers. Loosen gently with a pair of tweezers. Yeah. Obviously, I practiced this because I have those other ones. All right. Well, this is the way you're going to do this. If it's glued down, obviously, it's not coming up. So, 
What I have found works the best is to just run a small bead of glue close to here. In the gaps. go and then just push everybody back down looks like a mess right now yes I promise you it will not look like a mess down let's see if this side is popped up tiny bits glue it down So when you get a new die like this, one of the other fun things to do is to look inside your stash of backgrounds. There we go. There we go. That's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. My guess is I'm going to find a small yellow piece of paper and cut that out. So. Now I've got three backgrounds, but wait, I have some more ideas. So one of the things I discovered is when I am making dye backgrounds, one of the interesting things that you can do, look, I found my pin, um, is that you get dye, you make the actual stencil, and then you can spray your stencil with water this is a stencil. I sprayed the leaf stencil from Pretty Pink Posh with water and then turned this piece of paper upside down on top of it like this. See, this was the other side. Um, and then just squashed it on top of there, ink smushing, and you have another background. And I wanted to see if I could use it. I've already used one. And here's the other idea. So this is paper that's that's going to go on here on that stencil it's all one color um i frankly think that's beautiful so that's going to be pretty cool um this is complete by the way here's the other piece that moved um glad press and seal is not perfect so sometimes you've got to smush it all in place but that's that's going to be beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. One of the interesting things sometimes. So here's another option. I have discovered. I don't know if I can do this one. I did this once and it worked, but it was for a way less intricate stencil. Um, yeah, it's not going to work. 
Sometimes with a way less intricate stencil, I'm going to tell you, one of the things that you can do is that you can lay your stencil down. You can lay your glad press and steel flat like this. I'm just going to let the smaller pieces come up, but I'm going to let the bigger pieces stay where they are. And you hold them in place like this. And you peel it off like that. Make sure everything is where it's supposed to be, except for the small ones that aren't going to stay in place anyway. So you're going to take those out. I'm going to take that out. So see, all those pieces are going to stay where they're supposed to stay, except for this one, and this one. So all of this is going to be flat, okay? Now one of the things that we can do, let's see, here's our background, I know where it goes. This is the lazy man's method of stencil doing, of dye inlay. This works better for dye inlays that are not quite so I hope this works on this one. It should. Works on ones that are a little less complicated. But if you're in a rush and you don't have a lot of finger control, this might work. Gently applying glue. All you got to do is make sure that all the pieces are exactly where they're supposed to be and that they're not going to pop out of the die. And that the frame itself. Also, if the die is like a whole bunch of big pieces, you can do it. But this is die inlay. Remember, if you're just gluing a die together, I mean, do it frontwise. Because, like, if it's an octopus or something, then do that. But this is another way. Just another way. You just got to make sure you got enough glue on there. Dot, 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 dot. Oops. I missed you. I missed you, really I did. So it's very exciting. There are more people going to On The Make. We're like two weeks out. I love the beach. All right, you look, make sure everything is flat. Make sure everything is straight. Make sure everything is where you want it. Say a prayer, bless the gods. You're like, ah, what is this going to look like? That's what it's going to look like. Pretty cool, huh? And now you can go back and do all the little pieces. So because it's like already glued on there, then you can do this part, which is like just adding in glue where it needs to be. So that's kind of fun too. So, uh, oh, okay, here it is. so I like this because I also like puzzles. So, um, this is kind of my idea of a good time. So this one I thought was really nice. So if you've never heard of this kind of um, backgrounds before either, this is a cool kind of background to make. So as I said, when you're, um, when you're inking up a stencil and if it's water reactive ink, you can get another 
background out of it by putting water on your stencil and then you get um, another you get another background out of that stencil inking so that's kind of cool um, as I said these are these could be in birthday cards these could be whatever they're gonna be yeah I am really excited I like these so other than that it is not too late to go to on the make it's in Atlantic City North Carolina Atlantic Beach North Carolina I keep doing that which is near Moorhead City down on the Outer Banks. It's gonna be a great idea. It's Christmas in July. It's July 20th. Um, I'll be there. Tana Lowhouse will be there. Corin Wiskman and Mary Palenka will be there. Angelina Patterson, I think, is coming. Um, Exciting, fun people. When you use a pattern paper, you have to be careful because you want to make sure you get the pattern going in the right direction. If it's a square, if it's a triangle, it's kind of easier, but you got to make sure you get that um, pattern going in the right direction. So there you go. And my final card today. So there's, there. And my final card today was using the outline from this, this color, from the colored piece of paper. And so what I decided is I wanted a non, very, non, very busy background. And I wish I had done this background with you guys. So the interesting thing, I don't know if you can see this, this is all stars. Now I have your basic scattered stars background. I, honestly, I don't remember where I got it. I, I don't think it's Pretty Pink Posh. It might be Simon Says Stamp. Um, it might be Tonic. I don't know. So what I did is I took two colors of Simon Harley ink and I just kept stamping and stamping and stamping because I wanted basically um, a one color, maybe two color background, but I wanted it to fade into the background. So I wanted some texture, but not a lot of texture. So when you put this on here, 